Hi guys, Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, let me take a seat. Excuse my chair. Okay, you guys, I am back with a uh, Dollar Tree DIY. Okay, so what we're making is a, um, a rag wreath in a heart form. And so I've done most of it. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Isn't it fabulous, you guys? So it's almost done. But I have this one little part here, and it's just the same thing over and over and over. So I thought um, I would do a quick DIY and show you how just the ending of it, because it's the same thing over and over and over. So um, and I got this um, idea from Our Green Acres. She always does these rag wreaths, and I think they're just fabulous. And she does them with all forms. So, and I've done some rag wreaths before, but she kind of got my head going back into them again, and I like the way she does them. Um, the form I'm using, I just wanted to show you, the originally I started out with this form here, okay? This is the Valentine's form, or not Valentine's, this is the form you find in the craft section. Now, now that it's Valentine's, they have another form, you guys, that's way huger than this, and it's fabulous. So, you can use this one which you find in the craft section, or you can use the heart, the um, the really large heart one. Um, it doesn't have three sections. I think it only has two. Um, I bought both. I have, you know, probably five or six of these, and I bought five, four or five of the, the larger one because, you know, that's me. I'm crazy. Okay, because I do a lot of DIYs, and I like to do a lot of different things. And I think hearts are all year round. So I'm going to put this, I, I'm doing my bedroom in a... Um, French country style. So this is going to go in my bedroom and, um, I'm going to leave it up all year round. Hearts are to me are all year round. And when you make it like this and you're not making it in specific colors, like pink, pink and red, if you do a pink one, you can still put it in a French country bedroom, which would be gorgeous, but I'm not doing it in Valentine colors. So it can be up all year round. So anyway, so I just want to you know, this is the form from Dollar Tree. Okay. So I made myself a bunch of strips. I cut myself a bunch of seven inch strips. And just to show you an easy way to do the strips, I used, one thing I used was like, like a, a dish towel, which they have at Dollar Tree. And the other one is bed sheets. You guys, whenever you um going to get new bed sheets, never throw them away. That is perfect fabric still for all kinds of crafts. So just fold it up, put it away for crafts. That's what I say. Even when I go to thrift stores, I will, um, of course I wash them right when I get home, but they're usually clean anyway. Um, I always buy sheets if I like the fabric for fabric. It's the cheapest way to get fabric. Okay. So anyway, when you, so I took a sheet and I made a long strip. Okay. Um, use one of your strips. This is the other stuff. That, that's the dish towel. Okay. And I measured this out seven inches. So you can take it and go like this and then just fold it on itself and fold it on itself and then fold it on itself and then cut the ends off when you're done. And then that way you end up with a whole bunch really quickly and it doesn't take you uh, forever. Okay, so what I did is I cut out a ton of strips out of the dish towel. Okay, and I would use a dish towel rather than using uh, like a plain dish towel that has no print on it unless you want it printed, whatever. But, um, and if you need to stain it, you can use coffee stain, but this right here was the color I wanted it, kind of an off white. And then this is the, let me make sure you're seeing me. This is the bed sheets here that I cut in seven inch strips. Okay. For what I'm doing and how I like mine, seven inch strips seem to work good for me. Okay. So what I had left over, oh, and this is the other thing I want to say before we get started see how there's three areas to cover one two three i would start in the inner and then go out because i stood on the out the you know the most outer rim here and went in and it's just that it kind of starts getting in your way but if you work in and then out you won't have anything behind you to kind of get in your way a lot so anyway i would start in and then go out but that's not how i did it anyway so i left this section here Make sure you guys are seeing this. I left this section right here so that I can finish that with you guys together. And we'll do some close-up pictures at the end so you guys can see. And Okay, so here we ended up with a sheet. So I need to do a um, dish towel. And to be honest with you, this wasn't actually a dish towel. It was a, I don't know, some round blanket thing that I got from a thrift store that looks like a dish towel. So that's why I'm telling you guys get a dish towel or um, 
if if not, because you know where they have more natural looking colors more than dish towel or washcloths at Dollar Tree, or if you go and get some, um, or if you go and get some, um, some like rags like in the automotive department. Sometimes they'll have like white ones or beige ones. And if they're too white, you can always coffee stain them. Or, um, I'm just tying a knot. You can coffee stain them or, um, tea stain them to make them the color you want. Um, if you want, if you're doing a shabby chic and you want them to be a little bit more pink, you could, uh, cut, you can, um, take avocado skins, like four of them, in a big pot of, like, water and, uh, boil some avocado skins. Make sure you clean the avocado skins out really well. And it will make the most beautiful rosy pink you've ever seen. It's gorgeous. And you could dye it your you could dye your um your uh washcloths and or or your sheet. If your sheet's only white and you want a certain color, you can color it either th those two ways with avocado skins, tea, or coffee. Or you can get yourself some rip dye and all that too. So there's a million ways to dye stuff for the color you want. So yeah, I would go for washcloths at Dollar Tree and also go look for like the different type of cloths they have in the automotive section. Go check both of those. Or you may have just some old washcloths in your um, in your stash at home that, you know, you don't mind tearing up. You know, we usually have old ones anyway. So go get those. So all you do is just tie. You guys, could it be any more simple? It only thing is, is that, you know, it doesn't take forever, but it takes a little bit of time. Um, it's well worth your time. Uh, you know, it's a couple YouTube videos, you know, the longer 30 minute ones and, or, you know, turn on Netflix, watch a movie, enjoy yourself. And you just do the same thing over and over and just tie like this. So, I mean, it cost you almost, it could actually cost you nothing. It cost you, it could cost you just a dollar, just the front, just the, the frame. Because you may, um, you could go in your own stash at home, grab some old, grab an old, couple old washcloths. Um, and you may have some old sheets or sheets you don't care about. And then that's just stuff from your house. So, I've given you a ton of ideas of where to find stuff to make rags. Also, your clothes. Um, old clothing. I always look at my old clothing before I give it away or throw it away, depending on, you know, what the deal with it is. And I look at it and see if, Hey, is that going to be good for fabric? Can that make a gnome? Can that make a wreath? So old clothing is another good source of fabric. Dirt cheap, basically free because it's in your closet. So I'm just doing every other one. I'm doing the, um, dishcloth and then the sheet and I didn't have to dye either one of these because the this washcloth which wasn't a washcloth it was more like a blanket type of thing but it was like a washcloth fabric so let's call it washcloth okay uh, it was already the color I wanted and the sh my bed sheet was already the color that I wanted so I didn't need to um, dye either one you guys I have been going to thrift stores for just forever and I've been collecting bed sheets and all kinds of fabrics I find at thrift stores. I save old clothing. I save my old sheets. So I have like, in my garage, I have tubs of fabric that way. I rarely go to the store and buy fabric um, like at Michael or at uh, Joann's or Hobby Lobby. I mean, I do, but... Most of the time for stuff like this, I always have stuff like this around to do my projects. And some people be like, oh my God, where would I store all that? Get yourself a clear tub, big, huge, clear tub that you get for five bucks. And just whenever you have stuff, throw it in the tub. So you have a nice little stash of fabrics when you want to do projects. And if you're like me, that's pretty much all the time. <laughs> I'm always doing a project. My husband, he saw me, I was ripping the fabric or ripping the sheets and the, and the washcloths. And, uh, he was like, 
And then he starts seeing me create this. He's like, that is going to look awesome. I have a certain area I'm putting this in my bedroom. And he's like, that is going to I guess I can't believe you just made that out of washcloths and sheets. I'm like, yep. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Who would think something like this could be so gorgeous, you guys? A rag wreath. Oh, I absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm done. That was it. So let me show you like this. Okay. And then I'll bring it like that. I love it. Oh, this is gorgeous. And it didn't lose its shape of a heart a little bit, a little bit, but who cares? It just looks fabulous. Oh my God, you guys, look. Doesn't that look so cool? Oh my God, I am so in love. You guys know another one, and um, our green anchor, she did it too. I've done this before. Um, is making um, wreaths out of uh, co uh, coffee filters, and you dye them with coffee, tea, or even paint. Like a little um, light pink paint, you add a little brown, it gives you a rose color, and you can dip your... Um, you can dip your coffee filters in it and then you fold them a certain way and make these little roses out of them and you can do that too. And that's another gorgeous, can be a very another gorgeous wreath, which I might do. I've done those in the past, past and I love them. They just remind me of this, just really pretty, very natural, very French country. So you guys, I'll do a couple of pictures um, for you guys and so you can get a closer look at this. So pick yourself up a wreath from Dollar Tree whether it's the larger one or the bigger one. Um, if I was you, I'd pick up a couple of each size, of the smaller and the larger, because these are fabulous to have, not just for Easter. I'm not for Valentine's, for all year round. Um, and then um, if you don't have washcloths, pick up some washcloths, find some old sheets or find some old clothing and start making strips and yeah. And the color you need for whatever you're doing. If you're doing it for Valentine's Day, your colors for that. If you're doing it just for decor, whatever your colors are, and I just love it. All right, you guys, that is it. If you have subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. To give this video a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, you guys, do something nice for someone today. And remember, my friends, we are more alike than we are not. And that is super important in these days, isn't it? All right, talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.